I'm Abigail Reynolds. And I'm Alicia Kuhn. And this is the Channel 9 Weather Report. La -dee -da -dee -da. Okay, well first we have a large high pressure system just coming into um, the bottom of South Australia and the top of Victoria, just around here. Um, there's also a low pressure system with a lot of rain moving towards the bottom of WA, just around here. Scary. As you can see, there are clouds covering um, Victoria, just around there, um, and the bottom of South Australia, and at the south side of WA. There's also a tropical cyclone heading towards the coast of Northern Victoria, just up there. This is a photo of Surface Paradise, taken about five minutes ago. As you can see, there is a little bit of cloud cover out to sea, but the weather looks nice and sunny. The lack of white caps in the ocean would indicate that there is little or no wind at all as well. Tomorrow, the 1st of May, Wednesday, the weather is going to be fairly similar to today as the high pressure slowly moves easterly and the low approaching WA starts to intensify. The cyclone of Queensland crosses and the cyclone of Queensland crosses Cape York just Thursday, the high will continue across southeast Australia, just there, as the low approaches WA, bringing with it rain for Perth and surrounding areas. The cyclone in Queensland will have disappeared, but leaving behind a lot of rain far north Queensland, up there. On Friday, the high will have moved into the Tasman, but clear, calm conditions will remain for Victoria, New South Wales, southern Queensland, and south Australia, around here. The low continues to push from WA into the Bight, leaving rain in Perth. And the wet conditions in far north Queensland and the top end continue up here.